All right, good morning, everybody. This is John with Dead Drift Outdoors. I'm coming to you this morning from the southern tier of New York. This is my first uh, fishing trip since I went down with COVID. A little over, I guess it's been about 10 days. I was pretty sick for a few and then recovering. So finally feeling a bit better. It was not fun, but um, I'm really happy to get back out on the water. So I decided to stay somewhere kind of close to home today. So I'll be fishing my, my home creek. I uh, haven't fished a whole lot this year just because I've been doing some trips exploring and things like that. So kind of nice to get back out on, the, on the, the home water, um, you know, just get back into the groove of things. I don't know how much stamina I'll have, but I got up nice and early. It's going to be a warm day. The creek should be nice and cool this morning, though, so I should have several hours to fish um, if it even heats up to, a, to an area of concern, but uh, I'll keep an eye on that. So anyway, uh, glad to be back with you guys and bring you along again, as always, and hope you enjoy. Hey, Trikos! That's the first Trikos of the year. Look at that. I hadn't seen any. Very cool. Alright, well I've just kind of encountered my first fish that seems to be rising to the, the spinnerfall. The Trikos are hitting the water. So I just try, tied on a little, a little Trico spinner. Pretty basic black body, poly wings. <clears throat> Trouble's getting close. There he goes. There we go. Well, those rises were so tiny. That's a decent little brookie. That was pretty awesome, actually. All right. On the trico. First, first trout of the year on the trico. Pretty cool. All right, well, I think there's possibly another fish still up there. Oh, that was him. Oh, I'm so close to catching that fish. Oh. oh man, I've hooked that fish three times. <laughs> Darn. That time I had him pretty good, so he's probably not coming back. Alright. Time to move on. Oh, big fish. <sighs> big brown just came out and ate my, my stimulator. I got him on 4X tippet, tight quarters, lots of logs. Trying to keep him out of there.
lost them. Oh, oh man. <laughs> that was going to be almost impossible. I had him though. Oh, I got him caught up on that. Up on that limb. Holy crap. <sighs> I had that fish. <sighs> wow, that was tough. That's a killer, but man, that was cool. I can't believe he came out and ate that dry. It's so rare to get those big fish on the dry. Oh, that's devastating to lose that fish, but in that instance, I can't really say I did anything wrong. That was just a really difficult spot to land a big fish like that. Oh, so close though. So close. Oh, but I'm gonna go ahead and check the stream temp. Man, we got a chilly 62 degrees. That was a good fish. It's a chunky little trout. Just came up and tried the stimulator. So I'm sure many of you have dealt with COVID. Oh, there we go. I'll get back to that in a minute. We caught a fish. That makes me happy. All right. Here, Brookie. All right. It's been a while since I caught one. I just took my uh, dropper off just because it's so narrow up in here, but I figured there's got to be a fish. Water levels are so low, it's the best spots are these little riffles where they're not as spooky. Just a nice little wild brookie. Thanks, buddy. Come here. I'll let you go. There we go. Good spot. Well, I broke off my rig, so might as well. I'm back to 3X. Might as well throw on a streamer. Good looking up in here. Mm. That's a big fish. That's a big brown. mess around with this fish too long. I don't want to go under those rocks. All right, beautiful fish. Ah, what a nice fish. Big, fat, healthy, wild brown. Ah, oh, that makes my day right there. Heck yeah. 
nice 15 inch wild brown, gorgeous. There we go. It's an aggressive fish. Oh, I think I snagged him. He came after the, the big stimulator, but he came off and got caught on the nymph. That's all right. We'll take what we can get today. Come here, little brookie. All right. Aggressive little guy. Going after that big old stimulator. There he is, nice. Oh, he came up and ate the stimulator. Darn it. Oh, that was cool though. Pretty little fish. Good little fish hanging out in that little hole. That looks like a nice brook trout. All right, that's a quality fish. There's two channels right here. The the creek. There's a trib that comes in and deep hole here. It's usually colder, so he was just hanging right in there. All right, a fat little brookie. Look at him. There he is. Get him up out of the weeds. He's stuck in those weeds. There we go. He's free, he's free. Oh, he's back in the weeds. It's like bass fishing. <laughs> Come here, dude. Where are you? Let me just gently get him out of these weeds here. Come here, buddy. Oh, there he goes. All right. Nice brookie. All right. That's a pretty little fish. Just a chunky little guy. All right, dude. Just came up above a beaver dam and uh, spotted a few fish but they're real spooky 
but there's one fish out in the main channel here feeding. So I just tied on a little tiny, like number 18, X-Wing Caddis. I'm waiting to see if he'll rise again. There he is. There he is. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't spook him. That was pretty cool. These fish are real spooky up here. Right. Nice brookie. All right, well that's gonna do it for me today. Just doing my wrap up here on the, the walk out. I'm pretty beat. I think I'm still recovering my stamina from COVID. So anyway, ended up having a pretty great day. Um, got that one on the trico early, which was kind of cool. And then tangled with that big monster, got a bunch of small fish, landed that nice uh, wild brown and found that little pot of brookies right at the end that was a whole lot of fun so probably pushed a little too far i'm pretty tired but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video definitely liked making it for you guys today feels good to be back out here and uh don't forget give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it feel free to leave a comment don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time <laughs> the end